So we make this with the local local think, beer here out of Yellowhammer, and um, it's fantastic. Oh man, brother. <laughs> That's outstanding. Well, thank you. Hey friends, Greg Hudson here, host of America's Best Restaurants. And you know what it is? We scour the country checking out hidden gems and local favorites. And today we're in Rocket City, USA, Huntsville, Alabama, at a wood-fired pizza joint connected to a tap room. And not only that, Stan is doing it the right way. He makes his own dough, beautiful, fresh toppings, but it doesn't end there because he also makes his own ice cream, some of which are even of the adult variety. The city of Huntsville, for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, asked him to make one just for them. So come on in to Earth and Stone and let's go to the moon. Good to meet you. Good thanks, to see you. Thanks for coming out. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? First of all, a pizza is it's kind of my thing. And then when you add wood-fired pizza on top of it, had to be here, man. You know, the flavors are so much better. They really it's are. Just, I just, really for me, wood-fired pizza is right where it's at. Looking back, I mean, I can see the Neapolitan style ovens you got back there. So, so I know we're in for a serious pizza episode today. Well, listen, and before you leave, when you finish, we make homemade ice cream and we put a little spin on it because we're located inside a brewery. We have adult ice cream. And I'm gonna hook you guys up before you go. <laughs> so you're telling me on this episode, we're gonna get wood-fired pizza from a Neapolitan oven and adult ice cream. Correct. This, we haven't even tasted a bite and this might be my favorite episode already. That's that's fantastic, well, let's get to it. Let's go, man. And, and I, I wanna try all of these dishes and I see you've got a, a brewery over there. Are you guys affiliated or? So, no, they're just um, a local brewery we started as a wood-fired pizza oven on a trailer. And okay. we used to go to Yellowhammer on weekends and special events. And they decided they wanted to have a much bigger presence in, in Huntsville and asked us to join them. So beer and pizza go pretty well together. And it's it's been a, a yeah. good, good partnership. They certainly do, my friend. Well, I would love to learn how to make some of these pizzas if you don't mind. Well, let's let's get you um, get your hands washed and gloves on and let's let's do that. Yes, sir. <laughs> We got the dough ready, and I'm gonna learn how to make some pizza dough, the Stan Pizziola style. I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw a monkey in the wrench. Bring it. A monkey in the wrench. I'm gonna throw a monkey in the works. <laughs> and um, that works too. Let's let's get a let's get a little taste of the wood fired oven first. I I had my guys throw in a wood fired pretzel with beer cheese that we make from Yellowhammer's fantastic beer next. Week. Let's go, man. Wood fired. Hey, Deb. Hey, sir. Wood fired pretzel. I haven't had one of those before. It's fantastic. Oh, look at that. So we get beautiful. We get these pretzels from a local bread maker here. Um, has a has a shop, does most of the bagels and, and pretzels in town. Mm. Fantastic product, and it's it's one thing that that beautiful. I didn't perfect. I'm I'm happy with my pizza, but um, his pretzels are better than mine. So these That's are, fair, man. This and this is, is your beer cheese? This is our beer cheese. We make this with the local local they, beer here out of Yellowhammer, and um, it's fantastic. Oh man, brother. <laughs> That's outstanding. Well, thank you. What a perfect marriage of this, this local artisan pretzel that you got. And that beer cheese is next level. Listen, you know, we're a local artisan pizza place. Right. Have an artisanal beer place that we're attached to, so why not spread the love? Absolutely. And I, that's the thing is I love that you bring the whole community into it, right? Because you're, you got the local bread maker, the local pretzel maker, mm -hmm. and then right next door is where you're getting the beer. Absolutely. And you're smoking it right there in, in your wood-fired uh, wood fired ovens. It, it, it brings everybody up. Oh, man. This is a nice little snack as we get started. I'm, I'm going to dunk one more time. Don't get mad. Well, now since we're in a restaurant, once you finish dunking, we're going to have to change your gloves oh. and start over again. 
Okay, well, I'm like, I guess I'm gonna take another bite. I'm gonna change gloves. You're welcome, health department. You grab me some large. Oh, here they are. Here Be right back. Here. Okay, Stan, let's go. All right, so since you have an uni at home yes. and you're familiar with pizza, I'm gonna let you make your own. And what we wanna do is we wanna start by kind of stretching it a little bit, but what we're doing is we're pushing down the inside a little bit to create that cornichon, that, that outside crust. Right. Okay. Uh-oh, you want to toss? I'm not a tosser. Okay. Okay, and actually most of my staff slap and I can do it okay, but normally for me, I use my fingertips. I taught myself how to make pizza when we had a wood-fired pizza oven on a trailer. And at home, I never did it with gloves, so I was much better at it. And I know that you've uh, you've you've been in the restaurant business for a little bit. I have. But we, pizza, is this your first foray into pizza? Is it something you're passionate about? How did this start? You know, the pizza, I'll tell you that we, Tina, my business partner and I, were looking for something to do I was semi-retired and we wanted something to do that that um, was revolved around food, okay? I think we're ready over here. Okay. And we ended up going to Atlanta one day and saw a guy with a wood-fired pizza oven at a farmer's market making farm-to-table food. So it was a, you know, what a cool idea. I bought one and thought to myself, well, I think I can do as well as, as he can. So we, we bought a pizza oven and gave away about a thousand pizzas as we were developing the dough recipe. A thousand pizzas? I, I lived in downtown Albertville, Alabama, and I would call up um, some friends of mine. I'd go on Facebook and say, hey, give it away 50 pizzas, come by. All I want is your opinion. And so we you're have, getting research and feedback absolutely, on that. Absolutely. So I uh, made a lot of friends that way, drank, <laughs> drank a beer or two by the pool, and yeah. um, this is what we came up with. So you've got a good looking pizza here. I'm Thank you, brother. Your, I'm gonna get out of your way. Okay. And oh man, here's the line. We have our red sauce. This is considered a raw sauce. We don't cook it. It cooks during the 90 to 120 seconds in the oven. Okay. I've seen it done that way in Italy, as a matter yeah. of fact. And and that and that's so true. I I was curious. I was it. No, don't mean to whatever. But I was in Italy and I saw pizza made that way. And I was so curious about that. But this, this, I love that you're doing it that it's way. It's crushed tomatoes, garlic, some herbs, and a little salt. Just as fresh as you can get, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Let's go. Okay. Half so a scoop. half a scoop. I like that. That's good. All right, well, you've done this a time or two. I, I maybe mean, maybe you should be teaching me. Huh? No, sir, no, sir. I'm here to learn, my friend, but. Uh, All right. But yeah, I I, uh, I do, I, I wasn't kidding. When I, when I said it at the beginning, I was not joking. Pizza is one of my favorite foods on the planet. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to it. So if you work for me, I'd make you use a portion cup. But since since you're my guest and you're making your own, here's here's your cheese, help yourself okay. as little or as much. What, you know what, what I love too about the Neapolitan style uh, is that it's it's not over it the ingredients are even but not like overrun so you get to taste the dough you so get to taste the sauce what you get is balance that's you the taste, word we're looking you for taste everything and exactly we do that here i don't i don't put four pounds of cheese on a pizza because then you're just going to chew yeah right and you don't taste the great dough or or the good pepperoni or whatever so you're absolutely right um can we scoot the, can i scoot this down i'm a little nervous to break it i don't well, want to what let's just bring it down you can, you can scoot it scoot it down or just bring the ingredients to okay. you since there's just the two of us. This is so fun. I love that like we're just getting behind the scenes here and just get to make our own pizza. Just whatever we want for the Neapolitan oven. So okay. a little bit of cheese. I'm going to go, you have some really intriguing ingredients, some of my favorites. I'm going to go, we'll go a little bit of mushroom. Okay. Can I grab some? Yes, you okay, can. Absolutely. You're, you're gloved up. You can all glove. Absolutely. A little bit of mushroom that one over a little bit of bacon i'll scoop that and i just love the rustic nature of a neapolitan pizza man I do too. it's just great and we've got a pretty good selection of um, peppers and, and 
Can I throw a little veggies. goat cheese on Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Put a little goat cheese on this baby. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm gonna come get a part-time job working for you putting pizzas Perfect. together, man. Not a problem. This is wonderful. We're hiring. Let's go. Okay. Now hang on a second. Is this sweet potato? That's sweet potato. So we, our roots are back to food truck days and we were at a, at Latham Methodist Church here in Huntsville. Yeah. They came up to us and said, hey, we just got a donation of a tractor trailer load of sweet potatoes. Can you do anything on your pizza with sweet potatoes? So our, our buddy who owned the, the uh, farm that makes the goat cheese was yeah. in the tent next to us. I sat and looked and we traded some goat cheese for some pizza, caramelized some onions, and now we have the lake. And when we get written up about interesting pizzas or, or best pizzas in the area, that, that always is at the top of the list because it's just so unique. I, I haven't seen it before. I've never tasted so I'm, so let's I've got some I've got some stuff on my hands here. Can you grab some absolutely little sweet potato and then uh, caramelized onion? Okay. I feel like this is like a little harvest pizza now with sweet potato, caramelized onion. Well, listen, it's, it's, we're, <laughs> we're in we're in the second or third week of fall, so it's it's appropriate, right? This is Start great. Little some chill. mushroom in there. Oh, that looks delicious. This is so much fun. And this is perfect and, and it looks great i like the way you topped it because you kept to the balance and and yeah it's not going to be overwhelming everything's going to work in harmony now you, sure Rooney, do you know how to load a pizza i think so okay i'm going to give this to you oh man just, yeah just shimmy it just to see make yeah, sure it's yeah. going to move you're good all right abr universe come with me am i ready to go yeah, yep right here right there we that's what we're aiming for perfect a regular pizziola. Sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so dome it for about 30 seconds. Put it in okay. and then bring your peel up towards the ceiling. And that's, we're doming it with this? Yeah, because remember, the heat rises, so the hottest part of the oven is up there. Right. And, you, and you'll you'll be able to get a little color on top, and I'm, I want to get a little color on that sweet potato. Yeah, because you mentioned a nice little char on the edge of that yeah. is what you're looking for. Okay, go ahead and bring Give it, it a shot. Start to smell it. Perfect, bring oh, it, bring it in. Oh, what? Get out of here, I did this? You did that, you're hired. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Get out of here. Even the edge here, that's just nothing but flavor. So Get out of here, I, I think Stan. That's, that's great. Yeah, cut it up, baby. Let's go. Oh, wow. That's a good looking pizza. You hear that, you hear that crunch and that crust? That's what you want, man. Yeah. That's what I love uh, right. about Neapolitan pizzas. So we're going to take it over here and I'm going to put it on a cardboard round. And this is how you guys do it. And this is how we do it. All right, so let's get out of here and we have to leave the kitchen to take that first bite. That's fine with me. Let's step out over here and gonna, taste it. I'm gonna hand that, since it's your creation, I'm gonna let you do that. Hey, come with let's, us, let's, let's go. Do it. This is interactive right now. So let's give this a taste and then I'll let you guys make the real deal pizzas. That sounds and good. And taste those, but let's, I mean, let's go, Stan. You so this is me? your own creation. Well, it is. I guess we call that the harvest, right? Since I would fall. say a harvest. Oh, oh baby. That looks excellent. Look at, you know what I love too? Stand on the bottom of that. Y your oven gives it that char that you're looking for. So that's co that's called leoparding. Leoparding. Yeah. Oh, the and spots. That, was a, that was a really hot oven, about 900 degrees or so. So yeah, let's let's see what this is. Wow, that is really good. The caramelized onion with a little bit of bacon that I got. Yeah, me too. It's fantastic. And just sweet potato. And that goat cheese, that creaminess, and that goat mm. cheese. But you know what, man? The unsung hero of this, for me, is that crust. Mm -hmm. What you're doing with this dough, I mean, because it's so thin, but it's you get that crispiness at the bottom. It's, what I can't believe is, for as thin as that crust is, I'll turn it this way, you still get a little chew at the top. Yeah. But it's so thin, you can't believe it. It's It's, you know, 100% choosing the right ingredients and having the right tools. And that, yeah. that pizza oven is the right tool. Oh, man. I'm impressed. I love this. Awesome. Well, why don't, why don't we uh, let your guys do the what the professionals do? Okay. 
I'm going to finish this. It's a beautiful day. I'd love to sit outside and just chat more about your pizza, your story. Let's grab something to drink and, and enjoy the pretty weather. Let's go, man. Awesome. And it's a, a beautiful Alabama day here in Huntsville. So we decided to come outside mm -hmm. and I left it to the professionals this time. Two of, uh, I guess, some of your fan favorite pieces here. They are, these are two of our best sellers. The first one is my, was my dad's favorite. We call it the Patriarch. Oh, perfect. And when he would call me up and said, say, Buck, can you bring me a pizza? That's what he wanted. He wanted meat and vegetables. So uh, we named it after him and it's, it's our best seller. Is it? Mm -hmm. well, I gotta dig in then. This one's for Pops. So he must have loved your pizzas then, I take it. He did, he was he was truly our biggest fan. Mm. It, it was um, it was fun to watch him get excited as we grew. This is outstanding, man. You know, it goes back to balance. Again, it's a, yeah. It's a little too many ingredients for me, for the most part, because if you get a little heavy handed, you can overtake it. But it, it yeah, and that can be true, especially with sausage, right. because it can be so rich and some of that fat can sort of render out. Right. But again, it comes back to the balance we discussed. And what's funny too, with with a crust that's so thin and delicate and Neapolitan style, that balance becomes pretty damn important. It does. Otherwise, you're going to lose your crust. Well, yeah, the balance in cooking. You know, you'll you'll notice the edge of that that slice is a little charred. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in an 850, 900 degree oven, there's 15 to 30 seconds between perfect and oh crap. That's it. Yeah. That's it. it it's that precise. And and it depends on how how busy the oven is and what kind of skill level that the pizziola has because you can you can have disaster pretty quickly sure um or you know make incredible pies is that is that tough because you guys have to crank out a ton of pies you got the brewery right next door you got a park right behind us right you've got two ovens though which i mean a lot of places only have most places only have one at best you know we use the second oven on busier week weekends mm. you know with this beautiful weather this is this is one of the nicest days in months if it were a Saturday, we'd be dead because it's football season in the South. <laughs> all right? It's football season in Alabama and uh, roll tide. And you gotta love Nick Saban, but gosh, does, it, does that hurt my business? Man, I was I'm like, what do you mean it's dead on Saturday? Oh, okay. So it depends, our business fluctuates depending on game times, mm -hmm. right? A seven o'clock game will be steady until six o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then the people that we get after six are, are non-football fans. Yeah, and That's fair. It just, yeah, it just it makes sense. And the the wing places and 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 restaurants with twenty seven TVs they capture that market. Yeah, they and, and that's totally yeah. Now that makes sense. There's, you know what? We're sitting here chatting. I'm not a crush guy, mm -hmm. but there's as you can see today I am. Yeah, but it, it comes down to that crust. I think it's the best part. But it, and in this, you know, here's here's the Latham. And we talked about this before. Yeah, let's go through this again. We came up with this pizza, pizza at the Latham Methodist Church. They had a weekly farmer's market. And we would we started with a wood fire pizza contraption on, an, on a, um, an oven on a trailer and a 10 by 10 tent. And we set up one time and, and it was in the fall and they, they came up to us and said, hey, look, we just got the tractor trailer load of sweet potatoes donated. Can you come up with a pizza? So our friend Paul, who owned Humble Heart Goat Cheese, was right next to us in, in, in his tent. And we traded out pizza for some goat cheese and I put some caramelized onions, sliced these things thin, and it's a good, and it, and it doesn't taste like a pizza, right? I mean, it's a pizza because it's on bread, and but with the white sauce and, and, and um, the caramelized ingredients, it just tastes a little different. I'm ready to give it a shot because I didn't use the white sauce on my pizza. This is the first time I'm having that, but let me show you what I really love though. And again, you can, you're only going to get this from that Neapolitan oven. On the edge of that caramelized onion, a little more char on there. But that's just flavor. Those, exactly, those flavors and textures that you get Absolutely. from that wood fire. Okay, so we got white sauce, we got some goat cheese, we got the uh, sweet potato, and you all, it sounds to me you almost played an episode of Chopped right there. He wanted to trade out some sweet potatoes, you were going to make him some pizzas, there was some goat cheese, and, just, and the Latham's board. It was. And, and especially amongst the vegetarians in, in town, this, this is their go-to pizza. Because it's different and, and, you know, it's colorful. It's a great fall pizza. Mm. Speaking, of, speaking of fall and cold, we've got you, we've got you um, something to 
cap off, cap off the meal. Hey, my Thank friend. you, RJ. Appreciate that, sir. What a, ice cream? What are we doing? So we have some bourbon butter pecan. This is our signature ice cream. Mm. Our adult ice cream line is 5% ABV. But be, I found that when I visit tables in the brewery, in a group of five or six people, there's going to be one person that doesn't like beer or doesn't appreciate craft beer. Fair. Okay. Yeah, but not everybody's a beer drinker. But out they're there. hanging out with their friends and they're coming and they're they're enjoying the ambiance and the friendship and the pizza. Mm. So I started putting booze in some of our ice cream, and that way if they can feel like they're partaking before they before they get up sure. and go go somewhere else. Yeah. So fantastic. This is our best seller, and the other is a kid friendly ice cream we made. The city came to us as we as the city was celebrating the 50th anniversary of the NASA. Um, yeah, the landing of the, the landing, landing of the, the moon. moon. They came to us and said, "Hey, can you find an ice cream for us?" So this is a savory. It's a it's a butter sea salt ice cream that has chocolate chip cookies. So it's savory. The cookies sweeten it up a little bit and tie it into the ice cream, and it's just a darn good. Ice that sounds cream. good. Where do, so where do we start? Just let's start, go with the favorite. Start with the favorite. Okay, and, might and, as well. And this one's called again bourbon butter pecan. Bourbon butter pecan. And you're you're making these yourself. These yes. are your recipes, yes, right? Yes, they are. Some bourbon butter pecan ice cream. With a, it's a little adult ice cream, I should say. So we use three pounds of whole pecans, a pound of butter, some salt, and a bottle of Jim Beam. That is outstanding. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't taste boozy. Right. You get the hint of, of the flavor of the bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't get that burn that you get, you know, when, when, from bourbon. Well, just the essence of it. When you're eating it here, you have to be careful because if you have a couple high gravity beers from Yellowhammer and, and, <laughs> and then and mix it with this, mix it with that, I tell people it won't get you drunk, but it may take you over the edge. Oh, so, I got you. So be careful. This is outstanding. Thank you. This is outside. Before you get carried away, try the. Okay, try yeah, the other I, stuff. I we'll, am. I'm not we'll, just we'll send, we'll send some home. We'll send some home with you. And, okay, so this one is the one that was that the city came to you mm -hmm. and wanted you to create something for the 50th anniversary of the yeah. moon landing. Right. And what's this one called again? We call it Moon Rock. Moon Rock. All right. And I'm before I take a bite. I'm excited that you said it. It's kind of almost a savory mm -hmm. with the sea salt. It's very rich. We start with a 14% butterfat ice cream mix. Add butter to it. And um, <laughs> so, so that sound you you hear your arteries closing. That's as, what that was. <laughs> That's what that was. That is beautiful. Isn't that good? I think you and I have very similar palates, Stan, because I'm this. I'm not an overly sweet guy. Mm -hmm. This that sea salt and that cream create a nice balance. You get yes. the sweetness, but not it doesn't punch in the face with sweetness. Right. And well, then the cookies in there represent the moon rock. I see a little bit of that moon dust, if you will. Absolutely. You know, we do that with our ice cream. I, I blend this, I spin it at 260 RPMs because we're using such a rich, fatty ice cream mix. Yes. That as hot as it is in the South, I want to incorporate as much air as I can to make it lighter so you can finish a whole cup. Got you. You know, if you, if you think about some rich, think of haagen for instance. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a bite of haagen it's so thick and luxuriant, right? Yeah, yeah. That I'm good with a spoonful. Right. And you read my mind because as I'm eating this, it is kind of light and airy. It's mm -hmm. not It's not dense. Right. And that's fine. You know, some people like that heavy dense. This is just fluffy almost. It's, it's like, a, it's yeah, just a fluffy. Great texture, yeah. Mm. Oh, man. I am a moon rock man, that is for sure. This is outstanding. Well, I'm, I'm glad you guys, you guys had the opportunity to come out and Brother, check us out. Well, where can people find you online? Social media? Social media, face, Facebook, Earth and Stone. We have a web, web page, earthandstonepizza.com. Earthandstonepizza.com. If you're in the Huntsville area, which, by the way, one of America's hidden gems as far as I'm concerned. And I know that people are like, Huntsville, shh, don't tell anybody. I can't help it. It's, it's a great This city. is just a great town. And, and you seem like you just are just a staple of this town, man. This is, you know, it's a neat place to be. And because of the travel and education of so many people that, that have mm. come to Huntsville, they appreciate artisanal pizza. They appreciate artisanal beer. Absolutely. And they've experienced it in other places in the world. So it, it's a good marriage. Well, we appreciate you uh, having us come by today, man, and letting us come visit with you. Well, and you um, guys are welcome anytime. I need one more bite of this. I'll tell you this, you come for the pizza, you stay for the moon rock, but 
These are incredible wood fired artisanal pizzas. I'm Greg Hudson. We'll see you next time on America's Best Restaurants. Thank you. Mm. That's, That's delicious. Yeah, it's, it's different. That's outstanding, man.